Should the New York Knicks pursue Ben Simmons? Let's get into this. In this past season with the Philadelphia 76ers, especially in the playoffs, Ben Simmons had one of his worst, probably the worst playoffs he's ever had. And even previous to that in years past in the playoffs, Ben Simmons just didn't live up to expectations. And Philadelphia fans were expecting more every single season and Ben Simmons was never able to provide it. I made a video recently on why I personally think Ben Simmons struggles so much in the playoffs. But just to give a quick synopsis of that video, I was saying in that video that Ben Simmons wasn't able to get to the basket as easily as he would in the regular season season because now in the playoffs well one of course you're playing better teams but also that team could mainly focus on you and focus on the tendencies of all your best players and obviously people know Ben Simmons can't shoot whatsoever so whoever was guarding Ben Simmons would literally stay under the basket just deep in the paint and at that point it's very hard for him to get all the way to the basket and finish and without him getting all the way to the basket and finishing on the offensive end besides his passing ability he doesn't provide much he can't shoot whatsoever and that was really the huge problem with him just not being able to shoot and due to Ben's poor play in this year's playoffs but also in years past over the past few seasons Ben Simmons hasn't been playing terribly but he's definitely disappointed a little bit and especially I think this was the final straw for them the way he played in these playoffs there's been a ton of reports out that the Sixers are looking to potentially trade Ben Simmons and after that report there's also been following reports that the Knicks may be potentially interested in it but the question of this video is should the Knicks actually go after Ben Simmons and try to add him now of course the last time we saw Ben Simmons we saw him just play terribly so we all have a bad taste of what he's been but let's take a look at what he does well and what he doesn't do well and see what kind of player this guy is at this point in his career now as i touched upon before in the video ben simmons is great at getting to the basket that's probably one of his best attributes he's at that 610 size he is very strong and he's very athletic as well he can get all the way to the basket and when he gets there he can dunk over you easily like we've seen a ton throughout his career he can also he's also very effective with his layups and he can finish around the rim and use his athleticism to finish around bigger guys in the paint and he also added to his game a little bit of a hook shot where he could post up at the high post and do a little bit of a running hook. It's kind of a center move, but he's been able to do it and he's pretty effective with it. So that's a new move that he's added to his game, which is great to see. But besides his scoring ability, obviously his best ability on the offensive end is his passing. He's just a great passer. And I mentioned this in a lot of my videos, but he's one of those guys that could just see a play before it happens. He always passes to that advanced spot before the player even gets there, his teammate. And he can do that. And that makes for very easy wide open dunks and layups for his teammates also he can get wide open three-pointers for his teammates he can drive to the basket get double teamed be in the air and see someone in the back of his head and pass to them and get them a wide open three he's just an incredible passer and he also works on the high post a lot and he uses that 610 size to be super effective as well he just finds players at will and using that size and length for different passing angles he's just great overall as a passer and i think we all knew that but shifting to the defensive end ben simmons is probably one of the best defenders we have in the NBA. He uses that 6'10 size, athleticism, and length, and I defensive IQ very well and very effective. And he easily could have won the Defensive Player of the Year this season. But just breaking down what Ben Simmons does on the defensive end, well first he can literally guard 1 through 5, he can guard every single position in the league, and he does it very effectively as well. Whenever you see the Sixers play a very talented superstar in this league, Ben Simmons is always guarding that guy, and he does as good of a job as you potentially could on him. First he uses his strength and athleticism to stay in front of him, and uses his strength to push the guy out of the way, and not let him get to the spots that he wants to get to. And also when you're talking about his post defense, he also uses his strength very effectively, not to to let people back him down and get easy layups or post hooks or whatever he does a great job of that as well but also that's not where it stops for him he also has great defensive iq so when he's on off ball he has great iq to get those steals and use that length to get those poke steals and take it down the other end and either dunk it himself has great transition defense he easily passes it to one of his teammates running with him for an easy dunk for themselves he's just a great player on the defensive end overall as well and overall i think ben simmons has a very bright future ahead of him and i still think he's definitely a superstar player in this league and will continue to be one and continue to get better but obviously everybody's left with that bad taste of him just not performing whatsoever in the playoffs and struggling in the playoffs the past few seasons just to be honest but now let's enter the question of this video should the new york knicks actually pursue ben simmons and what would it cost to trade for him so first let's talk about the fit how does ben simmons actually fit with the knicks let's assume for the sake of this video and if the knicks do trade for him i would assume they wouldn't trade either rj barrett or julius randall so let's assume that they keep those two how would they how would ben 
Simmons affect them? I think for RJ Barrett, it would affect him a little bit, but I think overall it'd be a very positive move for him. RJ Barrett this season proved that he can be a catch and shoot three point shooter in this league, and he was very efficient with it. Later on in the season, he was shooting well over 40%, which is a crazy stat. Also, considering coming into the NBA, his biggest weakness was his shooting, and last season he wasn't shooting good percentage from three whatsoever, and he wasn't able to catch and shoot, not even close to it. So the fact that he was shooting over 40% for the season last year, or I guess this previous season was amazing for him and I think a guy like Ben Simmons would just help him out and get him more wide open shots so I think in that sense he would help him out tremendously but also another part of RJ's game and the main reason why he went number three overall was his ability to get all the way to the basket he's still very efficient and effective with it and he's getting even better getting all the way to the basket dunking over people and he's also kind of creating a little bit of a layup package because he didn't necessarily have one coming into the league which is good but when you have a guy like Ben Simmons on your team it kind of clogs up the paint so in that sense it would help hurt him a little bit but overall i think there's still going to be lanes to the basket for rj and i think overall getting ben simmons would help him out tremendously but i think for julius randall it's a little bit of a different story now julius's previous season also completely upgraded his three-point ability before that he wasn't able to shoot threes whatsoever but now he was able to shoot threes and he was also able to hit a lot of catch and shoot three-pointers as well so i think that part of his game is going to be fine and i think it's also going to get elevated with having ben simmons on your team he's just going to get you a lot more wide open threes but on the other hand Julius Randle has made his name off really being the main ball handler in the Knicks offense he was doing a great job at finding his teammates he was just doing a great job at scoring by himself as well and having the ball in his hands so much really was really is what made him Julius Randle this season and what made him an all-star this year for the first year of his career but also there could be a kind of argument to that that Julius had a ton of turnovers and just due to the fact that he was handling the ball so much it was he was hurting his team because he had so many turnovers of course and with Ben Simmons on the team and him being the primary ball handler that would definitely alleviate that issue and he could just give the ball to Julius Randle on the block or maybe he can create for himself as well but he would give it to him in spots where he wouldn't be able to turn the ball over as much which would help the team a lot so there's pros and cons to both things but overall I think Ben Simmons would fit in perfectly with this New York Knicks team besides those two guys when you talk about a guy like Obi Toppin I think he was coming on a little bit at the end of the season and also in the playoffs he was playing decently well I think Ben Simmons helps a guy like that tremendously and I think also guys like Reggie Bullock and all the shooters they have on the team he's going to help them out tremendously as well I think overall he'd be a great fit for the Knicks and if the Knicks have an opportunity to get him and they don't have to give up an arm and leg for him I would definitely do it 10 times out of 10 but what would the Knicks actually have to give up for a guy like that now obviously Ben Simmons's value is at an all-time low just due to the fact how he played in the playoffs and also the fact that there's been reports that the Sixers could potentially be looking to move him so you can get him for less than you ever could in the past but he's still Ben Simmons and I still think you have to give a decent amount up to get him I think that a trade for Ben Simmons starts with two first round picks at the very least and then you have to add probably two more decent young players on top of that. This would be a great deal for the New York Knicks but potentially maybe the Knicks could swing a deal for Kevin Knox, Frank Nilakina, Mitchell Robinson and also maybe a guy like Emmanuel Quickly for and two first round picks for Ben Simmons but obviously that would be a pretty favorable deal for the Knicks but since Ben Simmons' value is at an all time low maybe potentially that could happen but we'll see what happens. But anyways let me know you guys think in the comments do you think the Knicks should pursue Ben Simmons and try to trade for him during this offseason or do you think the Knicks should stay away from him but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe and hit that post notification bell it really helps me out a lot until the next time peace out guys